Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this video, I want to talk about Ambient CG. If you've never been there before, this is a great website for CC0 licensed textures and HDRIs and some 3D scans as well. There's a couple of different ways of bringing textures you've downloaded from Ambient CG into your Blender scene. The first is just using the import texture setup that's available through Node Wrangler. Another way is using the universal scene description file that comes with your Ambient CG download and importing that. Of course, if you do it that way, you need to edit the shader to fix the UV map name, and then in either case, if you want to reuse it later, you have to mark that material as an asset and then save that file off. I wanted to make a much simpler way of doing this. So I've created a script. Currently, this only works on Windows, but I imagine it wouldn't be too hard to convert this into a Linux shell script or a terminal script for Mac. So let me show you how it works. First, we'll find a material we want to download. We'll choose the version we want and save it off to our hard drive. I'll open up the folder that I downloaded this to. Here's the script that I wrote, currently called convertambientcgzip.bat. What you'll do is place this file in a folder, save your downloads from Ambient CG there, and then simply drag and drop your download onto the batch file. It'll take a few moments, but when it's done, it will have renamed your downloaded zip file to .usdz, and in addition, you'll now have a .blend file of the same name. Let's go ahead and open it up to see what's inside. If I open up an asset browser window and go to current file, you'll see that I have an asset in this file. If we apply this to an object in our scene, go into rendered mode, you'll see that it's been imported. One thing you will need to keep in mind is what parts of the USD this is actually importing. If we go over to shading, we can see that this imported the color channel, the roughness channel, and the normal channel for this texture, but it also fixes the UV map name problem that you'll see if you run the importer manually. Just as a point of comparison, let's import this using the Node Wrangler plugin to see what it does differently. If we go back to our folder, and rename our file back to .zip. We can now unzip it, and we can get at the files inside of it. From here, with my principal shader selected, I can do a Control shift t go into that folder, and select the image files that I want to import. At first glance, there's not a whole lot different between these two imports. It did bring in the ambient occlusion texture, which I asked for. However, the Node Wrangler plugin doesn't know what to do with an ambient occlusion map, so you'll have to connect this yourself by using a mix node or some other way. The other thing that it did do was bring in the displacement map, connect it to a displacement node, and then connect that to my output. Of course, in order to use displacement maps well, you need to turn on the experimental feature set, go to the material, under Settings, change the Displacement to Displacement and Bump, add a Subdivision Surface modifier, and turn on Adaptive Subdivision. And you now get Actual Displacement. The standard USDZ importer does not import displacement maps yet, even if defined within your USD file. Hopefully, this will change in the future. But for now, if you're happy with the color, roughness, and normal maps for your texture, this method is a very quick way of going from an ambient CG download to a file that you can place straight into one of your asset libraries. So let me show you. I'm going to go into my preferences, file paths, and add a new asset library. I'm going to point it to the folder that I've been downloading these into. And now with these four zip files I've downloaded and my conversion script, I'm going to go ahead and convert these. Now that I've done this, I'll open up Blender, go to my Asset Browser, and open up my new Asset Library. And we'll see that I've got my four assets ready to go. This script is still a work in progress, 
but I wanted to make it available to you. I've got it posted over on my Patreon page for free, so you don't have to be a subscriber in order to download it. But if you enjoy the script and you want to support this channel some more, while you're over there, why don't you consider subscribing? There's a whole lot of other content, including the project files from my videos. I do want to give a shout out to all of my current Patreon subscribers. You all are great, and I really appreciate all the support you've been giving me. Anyway, I'd be remiss to not give a thanks to Ambient CG for making all of these texture resources available to us for free. You should also consider giving them support as well while you're at their site. I hope this video and this script inspire you to make something awesome, or at least speed up your workflow a little bit. So until next time, I'll catch you later.